What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds just released over in Japan and to coincide with that, Nintendo has confirmed that Princess Zelda will be returning for Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. But the catch is, there's no sign of Sheik. So in all the screenshots that have been released so far, there's no mention of Sheik and she is not even mentioned as a dual character similar to how Rosalina and Loom are, which might mean that Zelda is going to be losing her ability to transform into Sheik. Or maybe Nintendo has decided to split the two characters and make them individual fighters. We don't know. But what she has apparently gained is the ability to summon Phantom Knights. Now we don't know exactly how this mechanic will work, but considering she was able to control these things over in Spirit Tracks, maybe she'll be able to do something similar in Smash Bros. And it could potentially act as a replacement for Sheik. But to last for now, we don't know what will happen to Sheik, but just know that Princess Zelda will be making her return in 2014. Now if you haven't noticed, as of recently, Nintendo has been having some connectivity issues with their online services, like the eShop. And people have even had problems just trying to create their own Nintendo Network ID, so there's been like a swarm of people trying to connect to the server and it's just bogging down the system. And things seem to be so bad that the recently released Pokemon Bank over in Japan has been pulled from the eShop because of connection problems. And you might be wondering what that means for Pokemon Bank in North America and Europe. And well, it's been delayed. So Pokemon Bank and Poke Transporter were supposed to be releasing on December 27th, but that is no longer happening. As of right now, we don't know how long this delay is going to last. But we should be seeing the two applications once the high volume of traffic actually slows down. And it's some good news for the Wii U is that the sales for the system are continuing to increase over in Japan. So for the week of December 16th to the 22nd, the Wii U is again the second best selling platform for Japan, right behind the 3DS XL. It was able to bring in 109,000 units, which is another jump in sales from the previous week. So of course, this is definitely Definitely good news for the Wii U and for Nintendo in general, and hopefully Nintendo will be able to keep those numbers going on into 2014. But that will bring us to the end of the news round. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. And the second episode of That's on Meverse will be going up on Sunday, so you can stay tuned for that, along with news videos and video reviews. You can also check out the GamingPixelShow.com to follow along for some more 3DS and Wii U news. But I'll talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!